The window is literally wide open. This, this, there's usually a screen behind it. This is where he came in. Do it. I always hate coming in here. Even though I remodeled it, just like. It still gives you chills. Still gives you chills. I think he might have uh, gotten the idea from the sun. Trust me, if there is anybody back there, Millie is going to eat their face off. You see Whoa. anything up there? <sighs> I can't see anything. Let me see the cam. I gotta Dang have it. a light. Seven three eight four Lynchwood Drive is the location of multiple gruesome murders. Killer clowns roam the campground and everyone who stumbles across Twisty and his adopted family will regret coming on a camping trip. Twisty the Clown, also known as Ronald McGinley, is a neglected child from the McGinley's family. An entire family full of cannibals and murderers. After realizing he is different from the rest of his brothers, he fled his family and started a new one hiding his identity as Twisty. The serial killer clown. They may look friendly, but the scariest people in the world always look the friendliest. If you see these clowns, run for your life. Hey ho, baby, what is poppin'? Welcome back to the channel, baby. Welcome back. Make sure you slam your forehead on that subscribe button and join the Duffies, guys. But right now, I know I sound a little excited, but I'm actually freaking terrified right now, guys. Me, Paul, and Ashley, that is not currently with us. She's in a separate car. We are like seven hours away from my house right now. As you guys know, we're kind of living off the grid. So the phones that we have all have VPNs and we don't normally take them wherever we go. So today, I was out and about Again, seven hours away from my house. And when I came back and checked my phone, I have like 30 notifications from my home security system saying person detected, person detected, person detected. And then eventually there was an alarm that went off inside of my house, which was my home security system. So obviously you guys know I'm freaking out. My dogs luckily aren't there or unluckily not there. I don't know, could go either or. They're being babysitted by their grandma right now. So there's nobody at my house, which is a huge stress off my chest. On the app that I have that allows me to see the security cam footage, not only shows me the live footage, but if I did miss the live footage, which we just did, I can actually go back to when the notifications were set and I can see the live video as I am right now. It's loading the live video. And I can also go down here to where it says motion is detected. I can click on that and I can see all the clips of the motion that was detected. It's loading up now and then I'm gonna start watching them and seeing what the hell was going on in my house. Polly baby. What do you think is going on? Are you nervous right now? You got a whole Hawaiian shirt on. It doesn't look like it looks like you're ready for vacation. Like you don't want to fight some crime with me today. We still are on vacation. We still technically are on vacation. So I can't really roast you right now for wearing a I was Hawaiian still shirt. I was supposed to go on a date and Jake goes Paul, I missed you, and I need you. <laughs> yeah. I need you for this video. I said, I'll be right there, baby. <laughs> and I blew off a date for him. It was more like, Single. it was more like, yo, my alarm is going crazy on my phone. Someone's at my house. That was more how it went. And he was like, uh, okay, I'm on a date. I'm on a date, but I guess I can come. We were in Salem, Massachusetts, which is like a seven hour drive from where we're from. But we're like midway right now on our way home. Ashley brought a separate car. Thank Thankfully. So she's going to be meeting us at the house after she picks up my dogs. But we still got like a three hour ride home, but I decided it's a better idea for me to stop, view what's going on in my house and watch the live footage. Make sure that there is no threat still there before we end up pulling up to my house and some crazy stuff's going down. I just wanna watch through this footage and just make sure that nobody is still at my house. There's like a 65% chance that it's nothing. Let's just hope for Jake's sake that there is something there because my backhand is tangling right now. <laughs> It's tangling. I can sw- What the hell is that? Dude, the- Is that Twisty the Clown? How does he know where you live? There's no- Oh. My. God. Guys, there is a clown inside of my house right now. How did he get in? And what is he looking for? Bruh. Dude, he's dancing in my- He's having a fun time! <laughs> Wait, I can switch between, like, the, the kitchen cam, the living room cam, and both of my- Both of my, uh, 
my rooms, but for some reason it's not letting me go to my first room. It's saying it's offline. Why is it saying the camera is offline in my, in my bedroom? That's weird. Dude, I cannot believe that there's a clown inside of my house. He's still prancing around the kitchen. He's not doing anything crazy. Oh, he's eating. He's about to raid your fridge. He's getting food. Why is he saying someone named Ron is there? You heard that too? Yeah, I, I, it's hard to understand what he's saying. Huh. Why is he telling me he's going in the attic? Yeah, he's throwing it like he's pointing in the attic. Dude, I can't really understand him. Can you? I'm sweet. The living room clip now. He's going in the living room, which is weird. Please don't touch my stuff, dude. Please don't touch my. Oh my god. That's where I sleep, bro. Why is he sitting down now? Give me a break, bro. I'll be up there in a minute. There's a hook cramming through that window. I'm oh my god. Tell me he's not still there. Get your feet off of my ottoman! Ashley's gonna kill me. <laughs> Wait. Relax! You don't want to come down! He said he got he came through the window. That must be why he turned the can changes it back to the Oh my Calvin's god, room. he's going to the Calvin's room. Alright, my office cam now. So I can see what he's doing in my office. What is he saying? I can't understand him. It's really hard to understand what the heck he's saying. He said Calvin's gonna be mad I redid the room. Alright, now I'm back in the kitchen. Why was he pointing at the attic though? And why Is someone up there? Dude, there better not be somebody in my attic right now. Because I'm getting the chills through my heart. Dude, he's got he's get he's trying to get in the attic. Trying, he's going in the attic. If he gets in my attic. Oh my god, dude! Get off of the chair! Why is he going in my attic? He's got a, he's got my my leftover pasta that I actually made. It's a little bit starting, huh? Come on! No, don't tell me! Don't tell me! Please don't tell me! Bro, he's feeding someone up there! Oh my gosh, dude! There go. There's no way! We were up there already. We were in the attic multiple times. There was nobody up there. No, there wasn't. Okay, we we stayed in there because someone was coming in the house. Do you think that could have been him that came in the house all the time? I don't know. But I'm getting. I'm starting to freak out, yo. And I can't even call the cops. No, they should put the chair back. What is going on, dude? We have to we have to just get out of here. I'm putting that down. I've seen enough and I want to get the hell out of here. I gotta I gotta contact Ashley right now and tell her to get the dogs and make sure she doesn't get there before me. We have to get there first. We'll meet we'll meet Ashley there. Dude, I don't think he's still there, but we definitely gotta check it out. Oh my god, dude, there is a clown that was in my house. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ashley needs to stop and get my dogs anyways, so we should beat her there. I wanna have try to have Marsh and Millie kind of go in first because if anybody is it here, Millie will tear their face off. Bruh. Oh, Millie. Ready? Millie's like scared. Why is she trying to go away? Come on, Millie. Let's go inside. Anybody here? Millie, come on. Come on, Millie. Go this way. Millie, you go first. Come right, on, Millie. Come on. All right, she's scared. She's running back. I think she's scared. She probably senses something. Okay, 
now you guys come, right? Wagging your tail. Oh god, this is going, this is going berserk. We good now? I disalarmed it. You disalarmed that, it. Yeah, but that's that's weird because that thing with the camera was turned off. Is there anything over there? Okay. Oh, thank God, nothing's in there. Do we dare check the room? I think we're good because if, if there was somebody here, Millie and Marshall would have sniffed them out. Yeah, but the only thing that's closed off is that room. I know. Yeah, Marshall's tired. He's going to bed. Man. <laughs> so I think we're safe to come in here. The window's wide open. They came in through there. The window is literally wide open. The, the, there's usually a screen behind it. This is where he came in. See? That's literally where they came in. Nothing. Just outside. All right. Oh they must have tried to come into the front yard, and that's what made the alarm go off. And then he probably came in here and disalarmed the alarm. Disarm the alarm. Yeah. We just gotta check all the closets. The last place we gotta check is Calvin's room. I always hate coming in here. Even though I remodeled it, it's like. It still gives you chills. It still gives you chills. Hey, Jake, what's that? <laughs> Nothing's over there. Keep going. Jesus. It's okay, Marshall. It's all right. We're going to check it out. Oh, this window's wide open, too. Oh, but the... But the screen is there. The screen's on. I Did can't. you leave this window open before we left for a vacation? I don't remember. Can't be doing that. This, this place got to be locked down. Now we know someone knows where we're living. The last place we got to check is the attic, bro. Well, that's the moment of truth up there. That's where he went. It looks like he gave food to something or someone up there, which is really creeping me out. I really don't want to go up there, but... How are we going to get up there? That guy was like seven feet tall. So standing on that little stool right there is good enough for him. Guess we gotta get a ladder. Paul's putting the ladder up there, getting that all set up. Don't go up there yet. I'm gonna go up there. But what we're gonna do now, I'm putting Millie and Marshall in my backyard so that they can sniff around to see if anybody is in my yard. Go, 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 go. <laughs> My backyard's pretty pretty big, so. I think he might have uh, gotten the idea from the sun. Trust me, if there is anybody back there, Millie is going to eat their face off. <laughs> she looks like a sweetheart, but trust me. <laughs> Jesus. Oh! You see anything up there? I can't see anything. Let me see the can. I gotta Take have it. a light. Yo. Yo, anybody up here? Dude, I don't see anybody. I don't even see the food that, that, that the clown left up here. The only thing I can possibly think of is see the hole back there? That's the only place I could think that somebody could be living or sh or could be held hostage up there. That's the only place I could think of. Dude, I'm not even gonna, you know what? I guess I got to. Should I go look? Yeah, I'm not gonna sleep here if you don't go look. Guess I'm gonna look, guys. All right. <sighs> Wish me luck. <sighs> I honestly should have brought some sort of protection but I don't have that right now. That wasn't my main focus. Oh, dude, you scared the crap out of me, Paul. Don't do that, bro. Oh my God, you scared me. I don't see anybody, bro, but there is a nail. Like, like someone scratched with their nails right there. And there's fingerprints right here. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to think. The footage that we just saw of that clown clearly brought something up here. Like there's somebody living in here. All right, Paul, grab the camera. Help me get down for a second. Grab the duffies. Oh, come on, Dude, baby. I don't see anybody up here. If there is, they're like underneath the insulation, sleeping or something like that. And I'm not about to start tearing through my insulation. Ashley, there's no one up here. The only way someone could be up here is if they're literally sleeping under the insulation. Or if there's some secret compartment room. There's nobody up here. So what was so you're he good. doing? I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea. 
That's a good view. Well, just the fact that he can even get into the house. He can't get into the house. You left the windows open. That's the only way he got in. If we keep the windows locked, he can't get in the house without breaking it. He did say he's going to be back in a few days. And if that's the case, I'm going to make sure Millie's here. And I'm going to make sure Marshall's here. And I'm going to make sure I have a freaking shotgun ready. We can either wait for him to come back and be prepared with this beast. Boom. Or... We can take the fight to them. We already know where all the, the clown camp is and stuff like that. Dude, we already know the camp is where Twisty and his brothers and all the clowns are all forming. It's like the headquarters of, of clowns. We know where that is. Honestly, all we have to do is go back there and... All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you do me a favor and yourself a favor. Smash that like button with your forehead. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and of course, just never miss an upload. It's a, it's a wild, wild journey that the Duffies are on right now. I'm so happy that I could take you through it with me. Right now, it is very unlikely that there is anybody in my house. Ashley made a mistake of leaving the windows open while we were gone. I guess she assumed that nobody's gonna be crawling through the window, but you can never assume that, especially when you're in our position. I think that we should take the fight to the clowns. Let me know what you guys think in the comments right now. Should we just wait and see we can find someone trying to come back towards us or should we pack our things and hit the road and go hunt down these clowns? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys to death. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Deuces!